Come join us at DNR Outdoors, where fishing with friends is exciting and always an adventure on the ice and open water as we go out and catch the biggest and nicest fish in and around Osseus and in the South Okanagan. With your host Daniel Holdebein and co-host Ryan Richter, this is DNR Outdoors. Hello everyone, we are super excited that you are joining us for this week's episode of DNR Outdoors. Today, Rick and I are going to be going out on Osuis Lake, going after bass, perch, and uh, maybe some trout in there. But uh, we'll see, and uh, we're going to enjoy the wonderful air of Okanagan. It's uh, quite bad right now. It's, uh, can't even see across the way there, but um, we'll uh, keep you guys posted. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Hopefully we can uh, bring you some uh, good uh, fish action here. And uh, it's nice and quiet, so it's gonna be calm out there. And uh, can't wait. Rick hasn't been out since we went out a few weeks ago, but uh, I'll show you what I'm using on camera. And uh, yeah, it's kind of chilly out here today. There is the sun right there. But uh, I see some blue sky, I think, above me here. So. Anyway, we're going to enjoy the uh, smoking noggin today and uh, hope you enjoy the show. Okay, we'll see you out on the water. Okay, we're on the water. Tried some, uh, tried the um, packing house, the pipeline, tried a few docks. So we're down at the north end here, as you can see, kind of, um, trolling for hopefully some for some trout or kokanee. I've got the uh, copper fly on. Rick's got the white fly on, which we aren't sure the name of it yet, but um, we're enjoying the smoking noggin. <laughs> so, uh, see how it goes here. Slight breeze, but not too bad. There's some clouds in the sky. I'm back with Rick. Hi all you fans out there. I'm the first mate today, the captain's holding the camera. We're always hopeful. That's probably salmon right there. The water is 68 Fahrenheit. Just enjoying the day, enjoying the fresh air of the Okanagan. Like if I do this, you can barely see. You can see the point there, but it's it's socked in. Like I think two years ago, we had the same same issue. But uh, homes have been burnt, so that's sad. But I'm not gonna complain because a little smoke won't bother me to go fishing. Show you my uh, bass bait. Three quarter craw. That is a tournament edge baits and tackle. Things like that. Uh, I got a six inch worm with a black and orange tail. A few um, salamanders. Well, I'm gonna go here and uh, we'll see what the fish think.
Well folks, um, update on the fish, it's pretty slow. Rick caught a few, so uh, we're gonna head down to the Bible camp, try that weed bed, uh, good weed bed down there, some bass in there too, hopefully. Um, and then we're gonna head across and fish the weed bed at the point just down by um, Lions Park there. So uh, we're gonna try that, maybe fish the buoys there. And then, uh, don't know, go from there. It is currently 12.53, so we have, we could fish all day if you want to. So we'll see how it goes here, but uh, we'll pack up and, uh, well, we're already packed up, but we'll head, head down yonder and uh, we'll see you down there. All right. A crow fish on. Is that a southern accent? I've got my crow fish on. Folks, Rick's got a lazy motor, so all I have to do is just push this button right here, and look at that. It starts. Love it. Okay, we're gonna head on down, get some uh, boat action here, put some music to it. Hang on, we're going flying, son. Using my Shakespeare Ugly Stick Elite Graphite. This bad boy is a six footer. Got it from Canadian Tire in Penticton. It's got the uh, clear tip, so more sensit sensitive sensitivity in the tip there. With my old reel from my uh, harmonica. harmonica bass rod. Harmonica. Like the North Oregon bath plug? Yeah, they make those now. Sounds extraordinary. Look at that, son. I caught a weed. I would have never guessed. Perch rod? I'll cast out this way. Well, even if it's smoky, I'm still having a good day, folks. It could be worse. Well, folks, I still haven't caught a big bass. And when I mean my, when I'm, what I mean by a big bass, I mean like a good three or five pounder this year. I'm gonna take your boat for a ride on this rod here but this summer's not over yet so I'm still hoping and if not well next year then now we discovered that uh, open areas like this instead of having it jam packed with weeds the perch don't like that Plus you get stuck in the weeds more. Neither do the bass. They like this kind of stuff when it swamps in channels. So when you are when you are fishing for perch, remember remember that tip from DNR Outdoors. Like this here. When it's jam-packed, it's I'm not gonna find much. Just plenty of little perch. But 
where you can actually go like this, right there, have it sink down, and you can actually see the bait, and hopefully there's a perch down there. Um, that's what you want. Because when it's looking like a cabbage patch, like Rick said, it's, uh, it's not fun. Plus the, the bass and perch can see it better and you're not fighting weeds all the time. So we're at the uh, gazebo down here. Uh, there's a dock over there, which I might throw my bass lure at. And as you can see on top of the water, a whack of weeds. Bite? I found it. Yeah? Okay, I need a hole. Try this hole. Excuse me, Sean. I had a kick up there. I scared your fish. Now, how does that work, Sean? Can they hear me? Maybe they can hear me. I'm going to write an album. It's going to be called uh, Daniel's... Uh, Daniel's Opera. It's going to be... It's going to be a hit. Oh man, that's a perch and a half. This makes it worth, the whole thing worthwhile. Like that was worth taking a picture of that oh. bad boy. You don't know what that does for me. Like that was just, that was amazing. I mean, when you can get a weed like that, it's just amazing. Yeah, I see here it's kind of too, too uh, congested, so you want something? Maybe I'll cast out yonder. That goes pretty far. That's probably like a good 40 foot cast right there. Using my uh, tumbler. Okay folks, time to switch back to my mini-man. Oh. It's a good size. Probably eight inches. Right there, huh? Right well, there. you caught my line. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think the uh, wind went down. Cool. See, I like a calm day. No wind. Just let the boat cruise by. Okay, fish, come on. I haven't caught anything all day. I wish we had a lake that had crappies in it, because that'd be fun. We do. Just gotta find them. I know. There are guys who come here just to fish for crappies, all over from Ontario. Really? Yep. Whew. And they mostly fish at the drop off of the sandbar on this side of where it goes down deep. That's where they fish. But you gotta go right down there, deep. They even have crappie rods. All specialized equipment. They don't have to have that, but it's that's what you end up doing, right? When you get into it, you end up getting all this stuff. Yeah, they come here just for crappy fishing.
Timon. One weed and they won't go after it. If you happen to yank it at the right time. Ooh, Ooh. Nice one. Ooh. Nice one. Nice. Calm down. Eight inches, gonna say? Simmer down there. Yeah, eight. Eight inches? Nice. Kind of figured so. That's a good size for this week. Nice. All right, first perch on the board all morning. First one? Yeah. Oh, I did get a pike minnow, but that was off camera. I thought it was a bass at first, because it felt like a bass, but uh, probably a good 15-incher. Uh, he fought well. Little guy. You can go, but you can't have my bait. I think I might switch to something else. This just this little squid. I think I will. I've caught two perch. Put on the uh, tournament edge two pack 1.5 inch jig. Bought these at uh, Freeman's in Rock Creek. They have a small selection of fishing stuff. So I, I bought a few because I was out. And they're a good bait too. I got. Uh, Dark green, blue, and light green. Number three. Oh, good. Took my the nasty fella took my marshmallow. The nasty fella took your marshmallow. Yes. I'm gonna have to report. That's what happened. It hurts me to even talk about it. How about right? Ooh, right there. Yeah. 